Preparations have begun for a storm set to the Central Coast tonight and tomorrow. We have team coverage with Sean in the First Alert Weather Center and Reed Harmon live in Santa Barbara. We begin with Reed and you are near a scorched hillside. Yes, I am, and I could be imagining it. I did feel just a little bit of drizzle about five minutes ago, but it's just a little tease. But rain in general, that's not something that we're used to here in the Central Coast, and especially here in Santa Barbara County. But with the Alisal fire burn scars and heavy rain that is coming in, those two tend to be a pretty bad combination. The projection of rain on the central coast brings concern around the charred landscape from the Alisal fire. We are uh, concerned. We've been in close contact with the National Weather Service and uh, they're anticipating one to two inches of rain. According to the National Weather Service, San Luis Obispo County and Santa Barbara County can anticipate up to five inches of rain, which can cause roadway flooding and debris flow, specifically in the Alisal area. Anytime you get a significant amount of rain, immediately following a vegetation fire, there's a potential for some problems. And those potential problems cause Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office to issue an evacuation order until Monday morning. And it has been ordered due to a potential um, debris flow. Um, and it's in the area in and around the Ellisol fire burn scar. So that's west of Las Flores Canyon, east of Mariposa Reina, um, south of West Camino Cielo and down to the ocean. Preparations have begun. We do have two Type 3 engines up staffed as well as hand crews and heavy equipment uh, and some supervision. We do also have a swift water rescue team uh, available on standby uh, as well as helicop a helicopter available on standby as well. So. And the American Red Cross of the Pacific Coast has opened an evacuation center at Santa Barbara City College. There may be some people that are waiting for the rain to come. I hope that uh, they heed that order and they get out before the rain starts. Uh, we're here for them today, all night, into tomorrow, as long as it's needed by the people in the county, we're here. And it's a great thing that they're doing that. Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office does tell me that nobody is technically forced to leave their home. Of course, it is encouraged. And however, in case of emergency, first responders could be delayed due to location and the impacts that the rain can have. Live in Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Reed Harmon.